developing now a plea for peace and healing in the normally quiet town of Longmont. It has been an especially tough few weeks there, with four violent attacks in March alone. Howard Nathan is live tonight in Longmont, where a number of churches are pulling together to offer support. Howard? Kathy, 12 went into one. Members of 12 different churches filed into this one church. They prayed for an end to the violence, or as the reverend of this particular church told me, this community is hurting. When you hear about the awful crime committed against a woman and the death of her unborn baby cut out from her body, what do people of faith do? Twelve churches gathered for a special Sunday night service at United Church of Christ in Longmont. There's no attempt that's going to be made tonight to try to explain or answer the big questions about why this occurred simply to be in the presence of God. This wasn't about one horrific stabbing, but also about two others in Longmont. Last month, all within the space of two weeks, a young man accused of stabbing his parents and then killing himself. Days later, police say a Facebook feud caused one man to stab another. That rapid sequence of violence inspired the Narowskis of Longmont to rally the churches for this night of community prayer. It was very difficult for people just to absorb it, that this could be happening in Longmont, which is a really fairly peaceful, quiet little community. Do not let your hearts be troubled. As a byproduct of this service is an ongoing effort by Longmont churches to provide help and guidance for people suffering from mental distress. If somebody hears somebody talking about um, hurting themselves or others, that they, that they ask them questions, that they try to listen to them. And pray that a higher power might listen also and somehow prevent violence. Monday night at Life Bridge. Now, the people attending this particular service were given information about a community mental health forum that will be held Monday, Monday night at 630 at LifeBridge Christ Church in Longmont. Reporting in Longmont, live, Howard Nathan, CBS4 News. Thank you, Howard.